and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about off-road bikes, e-bikes. And by off-road, I mean off-road. This is strictly for off-road, no on-road. And we're talking more like a dirt bike, like a Saran, Talaria, something like that. So I'm wondering, because I'm starting to think now, what would it be like to have one of those bikes? To do uh, off-road riding. And I've never thought too much about it, but just started thinking about it today and I was thinking what would it be like to get one of those for the future um, to ride around on um, like I say strictly off-road this would not be like I'm doing now with the Lyric Graffiti here riding on the road but uh so then I started thinking well what can I get what can you get out there for say 4,000. Let's let's uh, draw the line at $4,000 or less. Um, so what can we get? So you know, the first bike of those style that comes to mind for me is the Saran. Of course, those are the, probably the most popular, uh, well-known bike, kind of like the moped style or scrambler style bike. The most popular name or well-known name would be the Super 73. Not that it's the best, but it's the most well-known name probably. And I think Saran is probably the same when it comes to the off-road uh, dirt bike style uh, electric bike. So maybe I can get some help from uh, you guys out there and what's out there? What, what could we get if you uh, were interested if a person was interested in getting an, an off-road bike. So, I mean, I'm thinking like something like the, that's kind of like a, a light B, a surround light B, or a, uh, a Talaria XXX. And I did a little looking up. I mean, the Talaria XXX right now is going for uh, 3150 that's a good price and now that's a 60 volt uh, bike as is the light B I'm not worried about speed so much uh, for the bike as I would be for I'd want a torquey bike for that um, I mean yeah you want to be able to have a little bit of speed but you don't I don't need anything that would be crazy speed like something like 40 miles per hour would be would be nice I suppose but and uh, preferably a uh, 72 volt but I don't know what you're gonna get for that price range up to 4,000 uh, max um, but there is one besides the Navarro uh, who are known for their scooters, they have a dirt bike. And I should look at that one again because they have one that uh, they recently put out and I can't remember the specs on that one. Um, but somebody else who has one that's right at the 4,000 right now is the Dirt Goat. And that one is 72 volt. I think the battery is right around 40 amp hour. That that would be good too. Uh, something like a 40 amp hour battery um, and 72 volt. The thing is with those bikes is that I think they're going to eat the battery uh, pretty good because we're talking strictly pegs, no pedals. You're uh, you're throttling this bike. It's obviously not going to be one that you're going to worry about pedal assist. This would be like an off-road motorcycle dirt bike. 
So uh, maybe you can leave a comment in the comments below if you have any suggestions. Now I'm not getting one, but I'm thinking about a future uh, possibility, who knows. So I just wanted to get some ideas on what the price ranges would be for something like that and what, what are the choices out there. I don't know if you can stay in the 4,000 range or you might have to crank it up a bit more to more like 5,000. Well, I'm thinking like 72 volt, 40 amp hour uh, or more. I mean, the 50 amp hour would be better. But um, just not sure what's out there for that though. So maybe you can uh, weigh in in the comments if you know of some bikes or maybe you've got experience with um, one of those style bikes and uh, and uh, how has the bike been for you? Are you happy with it? I mean, maybe it's a Saron Light B. Maybe it's a Talaria XXX. Those are really popular. And like I say, they've dropped the price now to go for those to down to uh, 3150, which is uh, pretty good, I must say. Big gust of wind right there. So that's what I wanted to talk about in this video, just some ideas on what's out there in the off-road bikes and what can we get in the $4,000 range. Like I say, I'm not in the market for one at the moment, but I was thinking down the line Who knows, it could be a possibility. I started thinking about that a little bit lately and was thinking about it again today and I thought, oh, let's do a video and talk a little bit about this and see what others think about those bikes and what's, what's good for them. Maybe that'll be good for me. Well, that's going to do it for this video. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much. Just hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this video or any others, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. And like I say, if you have any ideas on what's a good off-road bike out there that's in the $4,000 or less range, let me know and I'll check it out. And uh, thank you very much ahead of time for, uh, for uh, chiming in and uh, giving us some ideas. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.